the bread of heaven. I am Reverend Linda Jefferson. I will be reading from Psalm 78, verses 23 through 25, New Living Translation. When he commanded the skies to open, he opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna for them to eat. He gave them bread from heaven. They ate the food of angels. God gave them all they could hold. The book of Psalms has consistently been at my right hand throughout my entire life. This book has blessed me from being a daughter to a mother, single to wedded. From career-driven to domesticated challenges, and for now, it is sustaining me during this pandemic. I believe it is because my heart could connect with the prayers and exhortations of David. Somehow, the example of this relationship with God consistently gave me a direction for how to continue to commune with the Father. Can I share a secret? I've always loved bread and butter. Take me anywhere and I will reach for the bread basket first. I think it is amazing that the manor is specifically the bread of heaven. More than just the bread of heaven, the Bible says that it is the food that angels ate. Can you believe that the Lord won't only feed you, but he believes that you deserve the feast of angels? During this time of distress and concern, Make sure you give these steps a try. First, remember that you serve a God that thinks so highly of you that he crowned you a little lower than the angels, which gives you an automatic seat at the table. Second, his manner has the ability to heal everyone of your conditions. We know that God gave them physical bread, but it is clear that the manner of heaven did more than nourish. The same is true with the word. God's manner will heal every part of you and it will open doors for not only physical nourishment but also spiritual nourishment. Finally, the scripture says God gave them all they could hold. The Israelites were in the midst of mobile pandemic. Yet the Lord didn't just feed them, but God gave them as much as they could hold, which indicates that there was still an overflow in the pandemic. In conclusion, make sure you stay strong and look to heaven for all your needs. And when you feel like you don't have enough, or you become anxious, pause and trust in God, then remember the songwriter said, be not dismayed, whatever be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Amen.